Hi, Father Ian Van Heusen here. Now, I promised y'all commentaries on St. John of the Cross, and I'm not always good with the follow-through on this. There's a lot of material that I always want to talk about, and so I always lose sight sometimes of, of carrying on those commentaries. What I'll do is I may not go through it all the time, but I'm just going to keep coming back from time to time to the commentaries on St. John of the Cross. So what I want to do today, it's Book 1, Chapter 3, the Ascent of Mount Carmel. Is, it's that great section of the Nada section. And so I, I'm constantly meditating on this. I find it very fruitful. And there's this one line that I wanted to talk about today, is endeavor to be inclined always, not to what means rest for you, but to hard work. So I think most of our first reaction is like, what the heck, St. John of the Cross? Do you want us to burn out? Do you want us to be a tired mess all the time? And I don't think it's so much that. What I think, what I found in my first year of priesthood, in my second year as well, is that in my profession, there's a great fear of burnout. There's a great fear that I'm not gonna have the energy to be able to complete the work that I need to. And sometimes it's that fear which sabotages us the most. We're not willing to stretch ourselves. We're not willing to push ourselves. So we think that if we push ourselves, we're gonna burn out. Now, of course, there are people who burn out. There are people who work too hard, who are workaholics. That's not what I'm talking about. It's this sense of the sacrificial dimension of all of our vocations. So if you're a parent, that willingness to go without sleep for the sake of your child, your willingness to extend yourself, to say, you know what, I can extend myself and be discomfortable in this moment. And this is a spiritual exercise that helps us to connect with that. So think about that. If I wasn't so focused on rest and I was able, willing and able to extend myself constantly, what might I do differently? And it doesn't mean that we always have to do the hardest thing, but that we use that as a spiritual exercise. Amen.